This exam question is a bit of a mixture of topic one and the dynamics topic, topic three. And it asks us uh, to basically to work with forces, resolving those forces uh, so that we, we can calculate the amount of work done, uh, etc. So the first thing it wants us to do is do a nice show question. This is a significant command word because it tells us that we're probably going to need this answer over here uh, later on in the question. So they've given it to us just in case we can't get it ourselves so that we can use it later on. So show is an important command word. And they want us to show that the, the tension in this, um, in this uh, lead that's attached to the dog, uh, I'm hopefully uh, no dogs were harmed in the making of this exam question. Um, we need to just think for a moment that if this character is in equilibrium, there must be a force of 40 newtons in this direction. And it tells me he's in equilibrium because we're at constant velocity in the stem of the question up here. So I know that there's a horizontal component here of 40 newtons. And because I studied maths at GCSE, I know that this angle here is 36 because these are angles in a Z and they're the same as each other. So I'm just going to use my trigonometry skills to work out what the hypotenuse of this triangle is as that will be the tension force with that as my adjacent force there. So because that's an adjacent this is the hypotenuse we're going to be using cos. So you could say, if you like, that the tension force is equal to um, the force 40 uh, divided by, because it's, um, that's my trigonometry, isn't it? So if my adjacent is 40, then that's cos of my angle there will give me the hypotenuse. So that divides over cos 36. And that gives me a tension force equal to 49.4 newtons which I think you'll agree is close to 50. So the second part of the question, uh, the, the situation has changed now so that this angle here is 20. So without really having to do any extra calculations, we can go about explaining why the roller skater initially accelerates. So what's going to happen is, as this angle here is also 20, remember, as this angle gets smaller, the greater proportion of the work done um, on the, the human being, a greater proportion of that tension force, if you like, is going to act on the uh, on the person. So it will become larger. So uh, what would we say? Let's have a quick look. Assume the tension T is the same. So this value here remains at 50 newtons. This value remains at 50 newtons. You can see already, can't you, that that horizontal component must be larger. So as angle decreases... And that, there's only one angle in the question, so we don't have to specify which. Um, the horizontal will, sorry, that should be horizontal force, will increase, becoming greater than the 40 newtons. Um, what would you call that? Like a resistance force. Yep. So initially it accelerates because this force is much larger than that 40 newtons there. At some point in the future, they're probably going to reach equilibrium again. Okay. So it then says, calculate this initial acceleration given that the mass of the roller skater is 35 newtons. So we'll just need to do a little bit more trig again. So if we, I'm just going to redraw out my triangle so I can see it here. Normally these pages would face each other, so you'd be able to see all of it in one go. Uh, so that's going to be 20. My diagram is definitely not to scale. My tension force is 50. This here, uh, my adjacent force here is, um, I don't know, actually, do I? That's the tension in the x direction, or the force acting on the, um, the skater. That's what I'm trying to find out. So let's quickly do that. So t in the x direction is equal to 50, which is the tension overall, times cos 20, because this time we're doing... I don't know my adjacent, but I do know these two values, so they're going to times across. And that gives me 46.98. Now, the force is acting on this person, so there's 40 pulling him backwards. We've got 46.98 pulling in this direction. So the resultant force, FR, is equal to 46.98 minus 40 newtons. I can do that one in my head, so that's going to be 6.98 newtons. I'm then going to do F equals ma, or rather I'm going to rearrange it so that I've got 
A equals F over M. It's going to be 6.98 divided by 35 from the question. And that equals um, 0 0.2 meters per second squared. Okay. And then rolling on into the last part of this question. Uh, the roller skater thinks that the dog's rate of doing work is the same regardless of the length of the dog's lead. Use the information to investigate whether or not this train this is true or not. So I would say that the work done, just to remind myself, is equal to force times distance uh, in which the force is, or distance of movement in which the force is acting. Um, so I'd say because, uh, because the dog is doing more work, sorry, more uh, more force in the direction of movement, the dog is doing a greater work. Okay, that's what I go about saying. So, um, because, uh, I might, maybe I'll finish it off just to evaluate. So, um, um, because uh, F in the X direction is greater in B, which is that second example, this one, more work done. Okay, lots of different ways to, to word that, but fundamentally that's the, the key content you need. Okay, thanks now.